no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net so the Department of Energy said they might begin allowing radioactive metal waste to be recycled into consumer products like forks and belt buckles and zippers and Madonna's anti-aging chamber. So soon enough, you might have your very own radioactive belt buckle. And a lot of people are upset about this. They're like, they're going to give us cancer. They're going to make us sterile. But think about it. Which brands and companies buy incredibly cheap, recycled, possibly deadly metal? the companies that sell cheap shit. The dining room at the Trump Palace is not going to the Three Mile Island metal store for their forks. So the radiation poisoning will largely only hit lower income people. Just like radiation is used to kill cancer cells in order to preserve the healthy cells, this is societal radiation used to kill the cancer of our society. Poor people. That way the healthy cells can grow even stronger. It's a brilliant idea. People shouldn't be upset about this. It's like giving the whole nation chemo. Plus, belt buckles and zippers? What better way to sterilize the less savory portions of the population than putting radioactive belt buckles out there? Those rednecks love their fucking big old belt buckles! Sure, the, the, some of the people we're trying to weed out only wear dirty sweatpants, and we'll have to figure something out for them later. But in the meantime, let's sterilize the toothless belt buckle wearing Jeff Foxworthy commemorative plate on and dick bags. Of course, there is one problem. So much radiation might create mutant and superheroes. That's that's how it always happens in the in the fucking comic book movies, right? Little radiation and then boom, you're blinking at odd intervals and shooting webs out your fingers. Superhero poor trash would be it I mean it'd be the worst. I mean what would they even what would they even use their powers for? Stealing Kenny Chesney albums and looking through walls to watch women breastfeed their kids, shooting lasers out their eyes to cook meth more quickly? It would be a havoc. But seriously though, 14,000 tons of metal are now under review for initial release, and the sale of metals could bring in 10 to 40 million dollars profit. So how much money would you have to give our government to get them to agree to radiate their own people? 10 million dollars. We're selling the American people at bargain basement prices. And what really fucking sucks is nowadays you have to pay double the price for food in order to get the non-GMO brand, double the price for the non-sweatshop labor underwear, double the price for the clean water, and soon double the price for non-radioactive utensils and zippers. This is bullshit. This is existence extortion. A full-on hard-on of capitalistic abortion. Pay double or we'll make your life short and fucking miserable. All we can do now is hope the poor white trash superheroes save us all. Anyway, that's been your moment of clarity. If you haven't already, uh, leave your email for my mailing list and you'll be the first to find out about uh, live tour dates, special offers, free shit, everything else, where I go shopping, what I like to eat. No, maybe not that last that last stuff. But just go to LeeCamp.net and scroll down and uh, on, the, on the right side of the screen you'll see the, the box where you can join the mailing list. Thanks a lot. Keep fighting. Plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.